Hello and welcome to the 20th video in this series making simple Flappy Robin for Android using Cocos 2DX version 3. I'm just building the project here if you notice me pausing there because there was some very strange cryptic error on this preload effect definition saying control reaches end of a non-void function when in fact we're in a header file which threw me very slightly as I was starting. Anyway what do I want to do in this video? In this video with the last thing I think before we finally drop into Eclipse and Android is the high score. So pretty easy stuff in this video, um, don't blame me if you just download the code, but we'll make a high score here and we need a getter and setter inside our game manager, but we need a getter and setter rather than just making this the lazy way public because I want to do something inside the setter. So first of all we'll have int and get high score and then we want void and set high score with a const int just um, score and let's take these two functions then and drop it at the bottom of C game manager implementation and the prefix Okay then, so in the get high score, obviously we just returned the high score. In the set high score though, just it's a small thing, we want to say obviously if the score that we've been sent is greater than the high score, then we'll set the high score. And the reason we do it this way around is just that we can always then at the end of every game just call set high score with the score and then let the game manager deal with whether to update it or not, which is a little less code than inside our Hello World scene. So into our Hello World scene, we'll need We've got our update score label function. We will now need an update high score label because we're updating the high score. And inside hello world scene.cpp, somewhere we have our update score label. We'll take the update high score label. There are obviously more efficient ways of doing this, but this will do for now. Best like this. And then what we want here then is our C game manager instance and then get high score so ask the game manager for our high score and something has gone absolutely bonkers obviously here what have I done here uh, all of that seems to disappear in me actually trying to type quickly okay good and then last but not least don't forget to update the correct label with the score string so that's our high score label being updated what we can do is just make sure everything's initialized okay let's just drop that function below the game over label visible false here so we update the label to zero and now what we need to do is put this update high score label obviously into the correct place and what I thought is is when a game is finished we'll update the label when things are reset in this re-enable after game over so we'll update the high score label there and the other thing we need to do then is straight away when the game's over before we've called this re-enable and set the game score to zero we can say C game manager and instance and set high score and then here obviously we use the current game score and that should actually be all we need to do if I hit build so a short video astonishingly for once all we need to do to get the application to store the score so I'll just run the application I think I've turned the volume off on recording from the the mic here so you won't hear the horrible music the only problem is I do and look at that then we've got a best of goodness knows what so I'm just going to go back into the C game manager and check out what in the world I've managed to do here with the initial ah, I haven't initialized the high score to zero nice high score there let's run this again I'm going to go into settings and turn the music off I can hear it you probably can't okay so now let's just quickly play with the Robin and try and get oh good we're gonna get at least one point because that tubes low and just make sure everything's uh, working okay so we'll just get one point then try and beat it on the second game make sure it works so one one point and crash so the game restarts now we indeed have a best of one so let's try and actually beat one and then just double double check by getting less than the current high score on the following game to make sure things aren't okay so I need to actually try and have some kind of gameplay here okay I've got one got two crash and this should now go to two indeed it does start again and crash 
Good, and the game resets and holds our best of two. Okay then, so that's it then for this video. It was uh, remarkably quick for once, um, and that's it now. The game, apart from the exit button, we'll deal with in the Android section, it's not very difficult, but the scores working, the settings working for the various volumes and things like that. And we may need to increase the detection box for these pluses and minuses. I've got a feeling on a small screen um, they won't be very responsive. But the game's actually now in a sort of finished workable state. What we need to do now is where in the game manager we have this storing of the volume here, the various volumes, and we have the storing of the high score. Here we'll be adding in some functions which call the Java code under Android to store that uh, in the Android settings via the settings bundle that you get uh, in the, the, the Java part of the Android application under Eclipse. So onward to Eclipse now, I think. Uh, thanks very much for watching. Hope everything made some sort of sense. Comments, questions, criticisms, welcome as always.